Hey everyone, so I'm going to reenact the look that I did yesterday in my kind of Mac nail clothing haul video. Really easy look, as always from me, it's not too complicated, you can definitely do it yourself. And I will just get around showing you what I did to create this very, very easy, quite pretty look. Okay, so first things first, Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Just going to apply a little bit all over my lid. So this is the palette I'm working from. I'm going to be using Gleam as the first colour, as you can see there, and that goes all over the lid. I'm just going to take any old brush and um, apply it there. And you'll probably see during this tutorial, I'm going to be using all quite small brushes because I prefer um, small brushes to larger brushes because I don't have a lot of lid space. So I just prefer to work with something smaller. For those of you interested, Gleam is a luster which means fallout, so um, be careful underneath here, you're probably going to get a lot of little gold sparkles. Step one done. So taking another small brush, and this is the MAC 228, I'm going to apply my Antiqued, which is my favourite colour. Antiqued is sort of a red, bronzy, copper colour, it's gorgeous. And I'm applying it basically in my crease and in my outer corner, so just here, like that and then bringing it in. And I'm doing tiny little circles with this brush. And then I'm just going to take a 224 and just blend it out slightly. Another little brush, this is the MAC, I don't know what it is because the number's rubbed off and I don't do the whole painting it over with nail varnish thing. I don't customise my brushes at all actually because I never apply makeup on other people, I think it's kind of pointless. Um, but anyway, so this is Sketch which is lovely, it's like a, a deep purple colour, it's got a little bit of um, pink flecks in it as well if you look really closely, but I've just got a little bit on my brush and I'm just going to apply it really to the very very outer corner just to add that little bit of definition and depth, so there, like that. Taking a little bit at a time, I've learnt from my own mistakes that with darker colours you really need to keep an eye on it. I'm just going to blend that bit out a bit. Okay, so that's kind of the sketch done. I'm going to take a little bit more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take the 219, I'm going to apply it antiqued um, on my lower lash line. And as always, applying a colour here is what kind of connects the whole look. Now I'm going to apply just a little bit of a highlight on the very inner corner. I'm going to use Shroom to do that. Shroom is that highlight colour there. I always thought Shroom would be a matte colour. It's actually a really nice ivory with a bit of shimmer in it, but it's quite subtle. Um, and I'm basically just going to do that C reverse C shape in my inner corner. And you can see it's added a little bit of light there. Because you don't want it to be too stark, like a statement of a highlight colour. You want it to sort of blend in with everything else. So I'm just sort of feathering it up lightly. Moving on then to eyeliner. I used this last night. I had it in my collection for about a year. I've ignored it. And now I think it's like the best thing since sliced bread. And it's Urban Decay's 24-7 liner in zero. So it's just the black one. Really creamy. Kind of like Stila Cardal creamy. But unlike the Stila one, this doesn't smear all over the place. It lasts really, really well. So I'm just going to do my waterline and my upper lash line with this. So... I'm really tempted to get Bourbon and 1999. So if anyone else has those colours, let me know if they're worth getting. And then lash line. Okay, and then mascara today, I'm just going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous with Ceramide Volume Building Mascara. So I'm just going to do a very light amount. that and then lower lashes my lower lashes are really long I don't apply any lash products to them but um I think the product just naturally seeps down so you don't actually have to go through the process of applying it to there and so what happens is over time you end up with really long lashes on your bottom as well 
Okay, so that was it. It was very, very simple to do. I've got some photos at the end, um, but as you can see, it's just really, really easy look. You just need basically, I would go for like a peachy lid color, so that could be from any brand, and then get like a bronzy color with a lot of copper in it if you can find one. I think Bourgeois do one, but don't quote me on that. And then you just need a dark purple or a dark maroon, so you could use um, like a Barry M Dazzle Dust, any pigment shadow that's, or any press shadow that's basically got a sort of a maroon or really deep purple undertone that would work as the outer corner color and then any highlight color I use shroom today but also the bourgeois white dear fan I think it's called the eyeshadow works really well as a highlight color and that's it so um, I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial and I'll see you all soon bye